Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, Scott here. I'm one of the tech team leaders here at Calvary and I have the honor of bringing you your word for the day today. We're still reading out of James and we're getting close to closing out, out chapter five in the book of James. Have you ever said to someone, sure, I could do that, or I'll handle it, or I'll do it right now, dad. Or in my son's case, I swear I'll do it before mom gets home. And hopefully you never have to hear, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? We know we often hear and may often say some of those innocent phrases ourselves from time to time. I'm sure they are no big deal, right? Today we're going to find out a little bit about both what Jesus and James had to say about taking an oath and swearing to God or anything else. As you may or may not imagine, it's a pretty big deal. As it turns out, it's a super big deal to God. As always, where we should go and who we should turn to when we need some guidance on what appears to be some of the little things. Now, I hope you know In your hearts, the place where you need to go and where you need to be is in God's Word. And if you don't know that, I just want to encourage you to start talking to God on a regular basis and ask Him yourself. See what happens in your heart. I want to encourage you to get in His Word and have relationship with Him. James's book in the Bible is going to be a help to us here today. We're in James chapter 5, verse 12 in the ESV. But above all, my brothers, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth or any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. Did you catch it there at the end? Did you hear that word? The word condemnation? What's the meaning of the word there? What does it mean when James talks about fall under condemnation. He is talking about sitting in evil. I can only imagine being a pig in a pin pen, full of mess and sloppiness and disgustiness all around. Sitting in condemnation is even worse than this. When I think about the word condemned, I think about an old worn building, dilapidated and falling apart, all disgusting inside. It's filled with trash and rats and it's gross, but it's dangerous. It's not stable. It's not a place that you can stay for any length of time because sooner or later that thing is coming down, caving in on itself, and the odds are it's going to crush you and take you out with it. Now Calvary, did you hear the first part of this verse? Man, the first parts and the last parts of this verse are so important to catch I believe that the information at the beginning of this verse is very important to James. When I read that he, that he starts with a verse, above all my brothers, I know this next text must be an important lesson and something that I need to pay close attention to. Like when your mom says, I'm going to tell your father when he gets home. That's right, you know it. I could have been doing anything. And if I heard that phrase, I immediately stopped what I was doing and started listening to what my mother had to say. So let's listen to James and hear what he has to say to us here. Do not swear either by heaven or by earth or any other oath. This text must be super important to James, and it is. James isn't necessarily talking about a swear word here. But what he is talking about is what you swear to do. He is talking about your word. He is talking about your integrity. He is talking about your honor. He's talking simply about doing what you say you're going to do. And he is saying to do it in a very simple way. James is also saying to do this and stay far, far away from being condemned by God. That is a place that you never want to be. What does Jesus say about this topic? We find out in Matthew's account of of Jesus in chapter five, 
at verse 34 it says. Now, this is red letter text. So Jesus is speaking here. But I say to you, do not take an oath at all, either by heaven, for it's the throne of God, or by earth, for it's his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not take an oath by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. That's from Matthew 5, 34 through 37 in the ESV. Jesus is saying here not to make any oaths about anything or to anyone. Don't do it for any reason. It's not necessary. And not only is it not necessary, but it comes from evil. It's not on the list of things you shouldn't do. In fact, it's on the list of things that you definitely don't do. Listen, friends, keep life simple. Don't sit in a life of trash and sin. Live in the freedom by applying God's word. Life is hard enough. Don't make oaths to people. Don't swear that you're going to do something, especially when you're not going to do it. Just say a simple yes or no. Be real with yourself. Be honest with yourself. If you cannot or do not want to do something, a simple no up front. Be honest with yourself and the people around you. If you have trouble saying no or you're not familiar with the term people pleaser, we have a group that meets every Monday night at 630 called Celebrate Recovery that you may want to visit. We're always here and we keep coming back every Monday at 6.30 p.m. at the Sweetwater campus. Keep life simple. Have and value integrity. Walk in step with Jesus. Align with his values and his character. And watch and see how God blesses that in your life. Thank you for your time today. I hope you are enjoying the book of James. And God bless you, Calvary.